Welcome to Cuba, a country of vibrant culture, rich history, and stunning landscapes. With its lively music, colorful buildings, and warm people, Cuba is a destination that will capture your heart and leave you with unforgettable memories. From exploring the old colonial architecture of Havana to dancing the salsa in a lively nightclub, Cuba is full of exciting experiences that will delight your senses. Take a ride in a classic 1950s American car, enjoy the tropical beaches, and savor the delicious cuisine. Immerse yourself in the unique blend of Spanish, African, and indigenous traditions that make up the Cuban culture. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of the 15 best things to see and do in Cuba. So let's get started. Number 15. Have a morning swim with the dolphins on Cayo Coco. Picture yourself basking in the warm shallows of Cayo Coco's turquoise bays and lagoons, with the first rays of the sun casting a glow across the cotton-white sands. While this destination may be a tourist hotspot, it's not hard to see why. The crystal-clear waters are teeming with schools of brilliantly hued fish and majestic flamingos offering a one-of-a-kind swim. And if that's not enough, you can indulge in the lap of luxury with sprawling resorts, boasting beachside infinity pools and meticulously kept gardens blooming with palm, fig, and orchids. Number 14. Dive with the Sharks in Jardines de Lorena. If you're itching for an adventure that'll leave you breathless, forget about lazing on the beach and head to Jardines de Lorena. This Caribbean gym is a pristine oasis that boasts stunning coral reefs, vibrant tropical fish, and massive sharks that are bigger than anywhere else on the planet. Brave souls can dive with the sharks, but if you're looking for a more serene underwater experience, experienced guides can lead you to shark-free spots. Prepare to be wowed by the awe-inspiring canyons, caves, and formations that abound in this protected and marine wonderland. Number 13. Hike Pico Turquino. Get ready for an unforgettable journey through the heart of Cuba's majestic Sierra Maestra mountain range. If you're up for an adventurous challenge, then hiking up Pico Turquino, the highest peak in Cuba, is the perfect expedition for you. Surrounded by stunning views and lush jungles, this moderately strenuous hike is easily accessible and doesn't require any special gear, acclimation, or training. Once you reach the summit, you have the option to visit the Comandancia de la Plata, a significant revolutionary site where Fidel Castro and Che Guevara launched the first attacks against the Cuban government. You can explore the site of the guerrilla camp, field hospital, barracks, and even Fidel's private camp office. It's a fascinating and unique stop on your way to the top. Number 12. Stroll the Colonial Streets of Trinidad Trinidad may not attract as many visitors as Old Havana, but it's a hidden gem worth discovering. This historic city in Cuba is brimming with colonial architecture that is among the best preserved and most extensive in the Caribbean. The Convento de San Francisco de Asis is a must-visit site, offering breathtaking mountain views from its rooftop. However, simply wandering through the pedestrian-only streets of the historic center is a joy in itself. Get lost in the city's rich history and charming ambience and experience the beauty of Trinidad that's often overlooked by many travelers in the Caribbean. Number 11. Take a ride in the famed American classic cars. Touring Havana in classic American cars has become incredibly popular, and for good reason. Due to the embargo, socialism, and strict import laws, American vintage cars are plentiful throughout Cuba and you're bound to find yourself in a weathered old car at some point. However, the cream of the crop American classic cars are reserved for Havana's old car tours. Here you'll see an abundance of pink and red convertibles cruising down the streets, creating iconic photo opportunities and giving you a feeling of being transported back in time. Number 10. Drink Cuban Coffee Cuba is renowned for its delectable coffee, a sweet and potent espresso with a frothy layer on top. Whenever you stay in a Cuban home, you'll be offered this scrumptious delight. To experience authentic Cuban coffee, seek out small local shops where residents sell tiny cups of the potent coffee for a few pesos. This is how the locals enjoy it, and it's an absolute must-try on any trip to Cuba. Number 9. Enjoy the Havana Sunset on the Malecon There's nothing quite as mesmerizing as a Havana sunset, with its awe-inspiring colors and captivating beauty. One of the best free things to do in Havana 
is to sit atop the renowned Malakon seawall and watch the sunset dip below the horizon. However, if you're searching for another stunning location to witness the sunset in Havana, take a taxi or bus through the tunnel across the harbor to the Cristo de la Habana, or hop on a Lanchita de Regla ferry from the dock across from the Russian Orthodox Church in Old Havana, which only cost a few pesos. The Christ statue standing guard over the Havana Harbor offers a breathtaking panoramic view of Old Havana, the ocean, and the entire Malecon from its hilltop platform. Number 8. Enjoy Cabaret at the Tropicana Club Beneath the twinkling Caribbean sky, the Tropicana Club has been dazzling audiences with nightly cabaret shows since the 1930s. Situated in Mariano on the western side of Havana, this iconic venue has become a fixture of the city's vibrant nightlife scene. While admission can be pricey, around $60 per person, the Tropicana Club is famous worldwide for its explosive dance performances and music-filled nights, featuring stunning showgirls decked in sequins and peacock feathers. And the club is also steeped in history, having once served as a hangout spot for the infamous Floridian La Cosa Nostra. Number 7. Visit Fabrico de Tobacco Partagas. Cuba is renowned for its production of high-quality cigars, and this factory is a must-visit for anyone who wants to learn more about how they're made and the communist economy of Cuba. The guided tour takes around 45 to 60 minutes and offers visitors a chance to witness the process of making cigars from start to finish. This includes stripping the leaves of veins, rolling the cigars, boxing them, and pressing them for inspection. It's shocking to see the working conditions, but it's also important to note that cigar making is a highly desired job that pays well in Cuba. Tickets to visit the factory can be purchased at Hotel Inglaterra, which is about a 30-minute walk away. The hotel itself is worth the visit with its impressive neoclassic facade. For those who are passionate about cigars, the hotel also offers cigar workshop tours. Overall, a visit to Fabrica de Tobacco Partagas is a unique experience that allows visitors to learn more about Cuba's culture and economy while also enjoying one of the country's most famous exports. Number 6. Keep company with a national hero at the Che Guevara Mausoleum Right at the center of the island amidst the picturesque streets of Santa Clara, which witnessed one of the most significant battles of the Cuban Revolution, lies the impressive marble mausoleum dedicated to the nation's most iconic figure, Che Guevara. Housing the remains of Che Guevara and 29 other revolutionaries, the site is adorned with a magnificent bronze statue of the man himself, as well as an intriguing selection of exhibits. Explore Che's personal effects, including his gun, binoculars, and water bottle, while admiring numerous architectural works that mirror the spirit of this revolutionary leader. Number 5. Visit Fabrica de Arte Cubano No Havana visit is complete, without checking out the epic Fabrica de Arte Cubano. This dynamic hub of art and entertainment is a one-stop shop for all things culture, a top-tier gallery, live music venue, movie theater, nightclub, and general hangout spot all rolled into one. Plus, there's an amazing restaurant, pop-up shows, and not one but five different bars to enjoy. With a rotating roster of performers and exhibits, every night at this incredible space is unique, not to mention it's a favorite of famous names like Michelle Obama and even made Time Magazine's list of 100 greatest places in the world. Trust us, you don't want to miss out on the action at Fabrica de Arte Cubano. It's the ultimate spot to see and be seen in Havana. Number 4. Explore Old Havana Experience the allure of Havana's oldest neighborhood, Old Havana, where history comes alive amidst stunning yet faded architecture, cultural landmarks, and grand plazas. What sets Old Havana apart from other Caribbean historic centers is that it's a bustling community with locals going about their daily lives. Walk the vibrant streets and witness children in their school uniforms, fruit and vegetable markets, and pastry vendors. While some of the buildings may require repair, they hold a rich history that's worth exploring. Remember to respect the locals and always seek permission before taking their pictures. Old Havana is a place where the past meets the present in an exciting and authentic way. Number 3. Visit the Fiesta de la Cubana in Bayamo For an authentic Cuban party experience, head to the ancient town of Bayamo. 
located in the remote region of Oriente. With sun-drenched streets lined with stunning colonial facades, the town dates back to 1513, predating even Havana. Bayamu hosts the lively Fiesta de la Cubani each week. Visitors can immerse themselves in the vibrant rhythms of Caribbean tunes, savory, fiery local delicacies, and mingle with the friendly mountain folk of the South. Number 2. Wonder at the works at the Museo Nacional de Bellas Artes. Nestled within the charming historic streets of La Habana Vieja lies the National Museum of Fine Arts, a must-visit destination. Overflowing with an impressive collection of masterworks, this museum takes visitors on a journey through the various artistic periods of the island and its people. Marvel at Federico Beltran Mas's psychological portraiture, be moved by Guillermo Coasso's political-infused paintings, and admire modern sculpture works by the talented Rita Longa. Plus, a nearby branch of the institution shows an array of global art, featuring everything from ancient Greek vases to canvases by legendary Spanish masters such as El Greco. Number 1. See the haunting graves in the Colon Cemetery. If you're looking for an off-the-beaten-path attraction in Havana, don't miss the Colon Cemetery, a true work of art. This cemetery is brimming with magnificent Gothic tombs and grand sculptures, rivaling the likes of Paris's Père Lachaise and Buenos Aires' La Recoleta. Located just west of the city's historic center, the entrance is marked by an elaborate gate designed by Calixto Ariano de Lore y Cardoso. At the center of the cemetery, you'll find the striking main chapel adorned with gleaming ivory hues and topped with gorgeous terracotta domes. The graves are arranged in sections around the chapel. The cemetery is home to the final resting places of several notable figures, including filmmaker Beatriz Palacios, poet Jose Lima, and former Cuban president Jose Miguel Gomez. For more travel bucket list videos, like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.